hello. We are going to the seat of sacrifice now. Um, I asked some of my friends to help me go to this one. It's because one of them really likes this one and the others were chill and wanted to help out. Big fight. Big, big fight here, you guys. This is the last trial we're gonna have for the post Shadowbringers area. <laughs> oh man. Close ups of me as a ghost. It's really something. Alright, let's do this. Um, I <laughs> was talking to my fr my friend is the other tank and we we're like we need limit break for this right so we're putting limit break on our bar there's gonna be a, an attack here that requires a lot of mitigation so here we go FP we uh, main tank and I'm hanging out on the side okay that first attack what's it called Okay. We're fighting Warrior of Light here, okay? So we're gonna be seeing some moves that look like what the Warrior of Light like tanks can do. So this Terror Unleashed, okay? That's what this is. Um, this animation looks like the thingy that uh, the Dark Knight does, okay? If you've seen any of my other guides where I was playing Dark Knight, Okay, so everybody gets this thing, True Walking Dead, which is similar to the Dark Knight um, invuln thing. But basically, we all get drop, our health gets dropped down. It's a beautiful one, you know? And so healers need to heal us up real quick. Um, and if you don't, then we will die once this goes down. So how much is that? Was it 15 seconds? Yeah, 15 seconds to heal us all. Up to full health. I try to help out with my little paladin thing. Okay, so, so you'll see here everyone else got full health, but because I do have a little bit more health than everyone else, um, it takes a while for me to get to full health. But it's not good, okay? So once again, just 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 so we see. Um because it's such a big thing. As soon as we start the fight, that's basically the first mechanic, okay? Terra Unleash. All of our health is gonna go down very low. Healers need to heal up immediately. Pop mitigation and stuff. See, some people are gonna lose their debuffs faster than others, but because the tanks have more health in general, we'll, uh, healers need to make sure to continue healing us up. Okay. All right. So here we've got some AoEs. That's easy enough to dodge. Well, if you're healing, you also have to focus on that. Okay. So Coruscant Saber. This uh, we gotta we gotta go inside. Okay. Um, there's also a variation where it's a a circle inside, so you gotta go outside. And there's a bit of a tell with the sword if you wanna if you can pay attention to all these things um this sword has like circles on it and that means it's gonna be this donut okay see this big donut but the stage itself um has this shimmery thing like we saw in the last dungeon you don't want to step in that or you'll get a really bad bleed and you might die but anyway we go inside okay for that one Coruscant Saber. Okay, so this one, he's kind of like arching back and like there's shimmery stuff on here, but it's not a circle exactly. Uh, and so that, this is the one where you want to get out, get outside. Okay, Absolute Fire. So everybody gets this icon above them and it there's a pause sign okay so that means don't move 
when this is done counting down, see it's counting down like this, then everybody will get pyretic and, and we get some damage here. So fire damage taken with every action. So you don't want to move at all and you don't want to do any attacks. If you do, then you'll take some damage. Looks like SD might have done here. We'll look at SD. Where's SD? Right here. The Reaper. Yeah, it looks like they did a little bit of damage and so because they moved, they took some hits. Looks like the Red Mage did too. Okay, now the opposite of that one, Blizzard, we get a thing over our heads and it's a play sign this time and so we want to move. So when it's done counting down, you need to be constantly moving. Okay, and we, we get hit with the raid wide. If you don't move, then you'll get frozen for a while. Okay, so, so now it gets a little complicated and you have to pay attention to here. Imbued absolute fire. And so you'll see here that there's some fire here, okay? And he's imbuing his blade with fire. So there will be fire in the blade. And so he's um, charging up the sword. And so now here the sword is going up. Um, and you might not be able to tell in this moment, but like I said before, there's like a circle. There's like circles going around the thingy. Like he's drawing it up with circles. So this is going to be the donut. So we go inside and because it's imbued, you have to remember what it was before. You know, it was fire. And so that means you don't move. Here we go. You don't move. And then you can, so people take a little bit more damage if they're moving, okay? Okay, Sword of Light. Ooh, okay, so this sword goes onto the stage and it this like glowing line is gonna go all across Okay, so we watch out for that and it's gonna make a shape across the stage You basically just don't want to stand inside the shape. Okay, so So don't be inside any of this and so here as soon as the boss started casting that for this instance, you kind of know it's on that side, and so we move out here. Okay. At the same time, while this is going off, you're watching for it. The boss is doing summon worm, and worm in this game, spelled like this, is a dragon. Okay. So once this like triangle thing goes off, here we go. We summon this guy. Bahamut. So he's gonna cleave the whole side of the stage, okay? So you don't want to stand on that side. Okay, Ascend Ascendance. Right? Uh, main tank's over here, but the boss is facing this way, so he's, he's doing his own thing. Oh, okay, we got this. Um, Dark Knight animation again. Okay, everybody's fettered. We, we take some raid wide and everybody's fettered here. Okay, so we can't move. Oh, we're chained. We're chained. So it looks like we're going to the next phase. Okay, so we can't move here. We're just waiting it out. This is the button thing. You gotta mash your keyboard or your controller buttons just continuously. In this one, everybody needs to be doing this. If even one person doesn't do this, then the whole party will wipe. Uh, and then you have to do the first part over again. 
I ran this once and we had to do it like three times because there was someone who didn't know what they had to do here. So, yeah. You just press any button continuously. Multiple buttons too, if that works for you. to ask my friend what's his favorite like dungeon of trial he mentioned it was this one because it reminded him of friendship because something something about his fc like doing stuff with him or one of his friends doing something or other i was like oh that's a really nice story so that's why i invited him and, and some other people to join for this it's nice so we're all heroes and stuff you know Friendship. Okay, so here the boss has its own limit break, okay? Look, it's four. There's four of them. Oh, whoa, what's this? There's four, okay? Whereas we only have three, but it's fine. Um, the point is, it's gonna charge up to four. When you see this thingy transcend your limits and weather the gathering storm, that's the indication that we're gonna about to get hit and this is when you want to use the tank limit break okay um and so that was timed very well right there and as you can see we all get hit with oh let's see a lot of damage a lot of damage and this is when we have tank lb we're in the the soil and then we also have a uh, regen healing on us. And I also have my wings out, okay? I got my wings out. So, as you can see, it does a lot of damage with all this mitigation. How much did it do? And uh, 44,476 is what I got. Okay, it's a lot. And also, as you can see, we get the hit and there was only like a second or two to spare for the limit break so you gotta really time it well um let's, let's see if we can catch how long is the limit break when you see this thingy okay that's when you want to do the limit break looks like it was eight seconds so you gotta okay you have a bit of a finesse but yeah Eight seconds seems to be where it's at. And then the boss is like charging up the thingy and then they do the animation and then we all get hit. At this point, okay, the animation hits and then all of our damage hits it. Our damage gets hit at like one or two seconds from there. So it's kind of a tight window. Um, and yeah. <laughs> Try your best. Okay, so now, from there, here we got this other one, Imbued Absolute Blizzard, okay? So the Blizzard one is the one where you need to be moving constantly or else you get turned to a block of ice. And the Imbued part is, um, the boss is gonna put it into the sword. So, we have to remember Blizzard. Also, there's this, like, Blizzard ice thingy here. Word of Light imbues his blade with Blizzard, okay? So. So you have to remember that, short-term memory. Okay, Spectre of Light. This, uh, we got two little ads on the sides. You can't attack them or anything, but they, um, cast the thingy. I'm gonna see if Twin cast, okay. So, twin cast it does this thingy and then there, we're gonna have towers okay 
So we need two people. You see these two orbs going around? We need two people per tower. As soon as someone walks in, it will light up one of the things. And we have two people, the whole thing will light up, okay? So, see, RZ goes in, this one lit up, and as soon as I go in, this one will light up. And then now the whole thing is lit up, okay? So you, you gotta have... Okay, see, and these little meteors go down? So you need to have two people in each of them to soak the thing. And we take a little bit of damage. But, yeah. You gotta soak it so that we don't end up getting like too much damage in general. Okay, now, while this is like finishing up the tower soak, the boss is doing a sword attack, okay? The imbued Coruscant. Okay, so this one is outside situation. You can kinda see before the sword has like some shimmery stuff but it's not the circle exactly but the thing to remember is the imbued okay and so it was blizzard last time oh yeah see the shimmers up. so we gotta stand outside of it and continuously move i wasn't moving enough i was casting so casting is not enough you need to actually be running around so i get deep freeze here oh you can barely even see me circling deep freeze and so that means i just stand still for a while okay why is encased in ice preventing action or dealing damage over and dealing damage over time okay so now let's see what else is happening l dragon dive okay let's see what happens here oh big raid wipe okay now we got AoEs on the side, summon worm, okay? So we're gonna get, we got a dragon over here, so this whole side of the stage is gonna be cleaved, okay? And then these orbs are growing, okay? So, and, and also this side, so we gotta s move away from them, because they're gonna get bigger. But clearly don't stand over here yet. So it's all happening here. Okay, now, we got a spread of- this is like a flare, so this person didn't get hit, but we also have a stack. <clears throat> so, very quickly, you need to figure out who has what. Okay, the flare needs to go away from everybody to a clear side, and then on this side, everybody else stacks up. Okay? They're, like, these orbs do stop moving at some point, so you do have space to run across. Um, so again, if you have the flare marker, the one with the white arrows, you go away from everyone. The stack marker, you go with everybody. Okay. Tank Buster? To the limit. Okay. So, to the limit. Um, where are these trying to use Okay, so... Boss has the limit break thing above them. So, when he is doing the... Is at limit break 1, we're gonna get a certain mechanic. At 2, a certain mechanic. And at th 3, we're gonna get another mechanic. Okay? So, for the first one... There's gonna be some people with these targets. Okay, it looks like there's three of them. There's one over here. So we just need to spread away from people because it's gonna do a cleave thing. I also really wanted to see what happens when you step out here. So I, I told my friends, I was in chat with them. I said, I'm gonna step on the thing. They're both the healers. So you get a bleed. Um, and it's kind of a painful bleed. Look at how much it bled. Okay. I take a tick of bleed and then the icon above my head goes off, okay? It's gonna be a cleave uh, towards whoever had the, the marker, okay? So you, you wanna move away from people. Um, Radiant Braver, yeah, there we go. And this might have been my bleed. <laughs> Okay. 
Yeah, I think this is my bleed. So, so your healer really needs to pay attention to you if you accidentally step outside, because like. As you can see, I'm, I'm on the tank, you know, so I have a lot of health, but if you're not the tank and you've got the bleed on you, there's a potential you'll die. Okay, so now let's go back. Okay, so here, remember, we're, we're at the boss's limit break one, okay? We got the three little icons, we move away, <clears throat> and we take the cleaves, okay, 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 and then... To the limit. Okay. See this up here? Now it's at two. Transcending his limits again. So he's at limit break two. Also, again, I'm only dying here because I got the bleed because I stepped outside on purpose. But for science, okay? Don't try not to stand out there. Okay, so limit break two. What we got, both healers are gonna get individual stack markers. You do not want to stack those together, okay? So some people stand with one healer, some people stand with the other healer. Okay, so this is limit break two. There's gonna be a blast on one set of them, and they're gonna get this debuff. And then, and then we're gonna get blasted over here on this side. Okay, so we get a vulnerability up on this, uh, for these things. So you don't wanna stack that up you don't want two of those and you don't want to take extra damage okay so now to the limit we're at three so this mechanic we got four people with these things the other ones behind the cape and we need to spread to the corners here here <laughs> it was actually all my friends <laughs> okay so we got one person going back here and then i was heading to this corner but then main tank was heading to this corner <laughs> And then our other friend was heading to this corner, so... <laughs> Poor guy. So he tried to move to the center here. Okay. <laughs> He's sprinting. Okay, so... It was fine. Uh, we Everybody's gonna take damage regardless. Um, but... Yeah, it seems like it was fine. Oh! Was he able to make it all the way over there? Nice. Let's see. Let's take a look. Definitely you don't want to overlap because I mean they're the aliens are giant, you know, so people are gonna definitely be standing in some of it and then when he was moving up this way Like it's gonna cover the whole stage basically Unless you're like hella in the corner, but he was running and it doesn't look like he got clipped with an extra one So it was fine. You know, we we're fine. Okay, and then he kept running that way. <laughs> okay. Alright, Sword of Light. So, there's a sword that was thrown. I, I gotta just turn my camera. But yeah, so... This is the one where the sword goes across and stuff. And you gotta not stand in the shape that it makes. Oh, okay. So, as you can see, there's one shape here, one shape here, okay? And it's a, it can look confusing, but um, here, we got this big space on the outside, and then it looks like we've got this little space right here that's okay, and then this space over here that's okay. Um, and then definitely this fire thingy, okay? This means don't move and don't even attack. However, unfortunately, some people were running and they got hit with... because they were inside of this thing. Um, and some of them were in the overlap, so... So, they just straight up died. And then here, you don't want to be moving when you have the pyretic. Okay, so it is a little confusing, this mechanic. Um, the way I deal with it is, one, if I see someone who seems like they're knowledgeable, I run towards them. Two, um, if I see a line that's just there and then the moving sword is moving towards it, 
then the moving sword is probably finishing up the line and so I follow the moving swords and then I stand outside of where see I was very close and I'm, I'm like okay so this is the end when I saw it here I was like okay that's the end I just gotta get out here and then I saw the other one over here so it's closing up that other one so it is it's tricky um I would say when you see the cast sword of light um, turn your camera so that you can see where it starts and ends. At this point, I was just like, oh, 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 yeah, is this one okay? So then I turn my camera. But at this point, you want to already be moving towards a clear spot. Geometry. Okay. So yeah. Okay. So again, heretic, we don't want to move. Um, and here I am picking up to be maintained because other your tank died okay he's back up but i am trying to maintain the aggro okay imbued absolute fire and so we're gonna get the fire thing again and then he's gonna do the sword thing okay so if you didn't see the cast bar you can see that there's fire and then this thing also says imbues his blade with fire i know it's kind of hard to see because a lot's happening all at once also a lot of people are dead so there's a lot going on, especially for healers right now. Spectre of Light. I'm doing more of this one. What does Spectre of Light do? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so we did some animation thingy, okay? And then... And then we're gonna get some extra stuff. Cleansing water of the thingy. Okay, so we got a spectral ninja out here. Okay, so here... Katon's son. Okay, we got, we got this water thing. So, and then all these arrows pointing this way. We need to go towards the arrow. Towards the water spout, okay? And we'll park it there because we're gonna get knocked back. And then at the same time, we got that stack marker, you see? So we wanna stack together. Okay, so again. This thing, like, even though, okay. Oh, it was behind him. That's why I couldn't see. But the little thing behind him is saying cleansing water. Watch him. Okay. So, so that is the water mechanic. Yeah, you can kind of see his little like ninja thingy back there. It's just one of those ads. The one like similar to the ones that made the orbs, um, the tower soaks earlier. Yeah. This is the ad. Okay. They're the one doing this this water mechanic and things. So you run towards the water. You get knocked across the stage, you get you take some damage, and then immediately we need to gather for the stack marker. Okay. And then as that is happening, or as that's ending, uh imbued coruscants, okay? So we're this is the the thing, okay? The sword itself if if you can see this fast enough, it's the circle y one. So it's gonna be a donut. Oh, we can also see the donut coming up. We got a donut AOE, and then before it was fire. Okay, so that's the one that you don't move. Okay. Um. Did I? I feel like I did an attack at that point. So I did move. So. I get hit with this, and then I'm taking some stuff here. Yeah, I, I think I was using attacks and stuff um, while I had the pyretic thing, and so my health went down pretty low. Okay, but now, at this phase, we got we got all these ads, okay? When they pop up. Imbued croissants, okay. As soon as the fire thingy drops, as soon as that last move is done, we got 
these dudes. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. It's because the summoner is out. The spectral summoner, and they they're summoning their little ads here. So these ads are tethered to people, and so whoever it's tethered to, the ads will face them. And so if you have it tethered to you, you want to go outside. You want to point it outside, like this, like to a corner, preferably. Um, okay. And then we got these AOEs that are dropping. Let's see. Solemn Confiteer. Yeah, that's that's these AOEs. And then look, people are adjusting the ads. So there's dodgy circles in the center. And then the ads will drop their AOE wherever the people are pointing them. Okay. And then they use flare breath. And so you have time to drop the AOE and then get out of there. Okay, see, they got out of there. Getting out of there. Tank Buster. Okay, and then here we've got this AoE thing going out. Spectral Warrior. Okay, it's using perfect des probably decimate. I think that's the name of the move. Um decimation or something. And so we got cones that we just gotta dodge out of, okay? And we got my tank buster here. Okay. And then oh. Bitter and my friend ended up getting aggro, so I'm not sure if that was a force tank swap or if maybe he provoked. Oh, wait. So, bitter end. Did he provoke? <laughs> I kind of want to know. I want to know if this is something that the fight itself does or if. Something tanks need to know to do. Because I don't have any debuffs at the moment. But it switches to him. Okay. I'm not sure, but in any case, I do take a bunch, so, but you know, I mitigate for that. Um, but okay, sorry, I was distracted there. We did end up switching, but I'm not sure if we had to do a tank swap there. Um, but here, the the warriors thingy, okay, you do need to make sure that you're dodging out of these AoEs. Okay, dodge out of the AoEs, or make sure you know where you need to dodge. Because we're gonna get another set. So we stay in the safe set first. And then, and then go to the safe for a set, and then continually move for the, the blizzard thing. Okay. At this point I realize it was oh, okay. on my friend. So I turned off my tank stand so he could have it again. So El Dragon Dive, that one's the raid blade. Oh, wait, okay. I totally missed this, um, but my friend pointed it out. One of my friends pointed it out. Okay, so here, wait, let me go back just a little bit. Did he? Uh, uh, investigations. Put tank stands back on at this point. And okay, and then we dodge these things. Play button, so we need to be moving around. Go to a clear. Oops. Okay, and we're good. Okay, you get frozen if you don't move around. 
Alarm ticket. Raid wide. Elf dragon dive. Okay. My duty. No, not yet. Clad in prayer, I am invincible. Okay, so this is the Warrior of Lights, um, Invuln. This is... I wouldn't have caught this. I would have just accepted things for the way they were. But because my friend, who teaches like extreme fights and difficult things, was with us, he pointed it out. Right now, the monk is doing the limit break. Final Heaven. They're using our limit break. The Warrior of Light happens to be saying this I'm invincible thing. And so they use their shield. Okay? They happen to be using their shield as soon as the monk is using the limit break. As you can see, this one. If you've watched my other guides, I use this a lot when I'm pulling ads so I don't die. It's this one. Okay? I don't know why I popped it here. I think I accidentally popped it, but yeah. So, <laughs> the Warrior of Light is invincible, and the monk is doing limit break. So, you want to uh, hold off on using limit break at this point. The Warrior of Light withstands the limit break. That's wild. I did not catch this because I was just like, man, there's a lot happening. But whoa! So, um, there's all this stuff happening, but yeah, we basically just lost their limit break because the boss was invulnerable just right at that moment, okay, for those 10, 9 seconds that you- yeah, I think it's 10 seconds. So be careful, it does- I- this is- around this area is generally when people pop the limit break and so they must have designed that in such a way to like yeah what was it was it 10 seconds okay. Okay. 10 seconds okay you can kind of see my mouse going all over the place. At the same time this was happening, I got some like Windows driver thingy and I was like, oh my god, like earlier my friend <laughs> had said something like, oh man, I might have to update my driver and, and then we were all kind of like joking about it. But then I had a driver thing pop up like right down here and I was like, oh no, I hope that doesn't get in the video. Oh, I gotta close that. So I kind of missed all this, but yeah, okay, that's crazy. Like that's incredible timing. Poor timing, but like, yeah. What are the odds? And the fact that they even have this whole thing that says it. Okay, but anyway. So right after that, we're gonna have imbued absolute blizzard. So the blizzard one is gonna make a move. And then the sword thing, okay? So this is the blizzard one. So make sure you're gonna you're moving later. I'm preemptively moving. Okay. Okay, so saving it. Specter of light. I'm gonna get some ads out. To do some stuff for the sake of our world. In the name of the light. Okay. So they're gonna do the the tower things, I think. But we take care of the boss, so. Oh yeah, yeah. You see that at the end there? Right at the end. So. The, oh my goodness. So fast. I can catch up. Here. See the towers. Um. So the mechanics would just repeat after that, if you are taking some extra time for it. Okay? Wow, what a wild fight. No. I cannot fail. I will not. Cool. Um, 
I hope that was useful. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.